Welcome back. That's the story. It is the second half of game number two about to get underway. And Pakistan need to score 342 to win the series. They won that first game at Supersport Park. They have a job in their hands here. The required run rate is at 6.84. When you're chasing a big total like that, you've got to go at it right from ball one pretty much. That's a beautiful shot. That's away. That's a nice confidence booster. And just goes on to show that he was very well balanced as well. There's an edge and the first wicket. Markram is the catcher and Gidi has struck at his first over. That is a big blow. He was a bit of a mainstay, of course, in the first game. Mainstay the last time they played here as well. He's now departed and Gidi's got him. Yeah, South African fast. What a classical drive that is. Four. He's taken out the bowler and it's ricocheted off his boot and has gone for feet. Nicely played, just in front of square on the offside, the shorter boundary, and that's gone for four. Uh, here's a little bit of start for Fakhar. Leg side, and that's easily just worked away off the face of the bat, really, for four. That's well played. A really good shot. He hits it, Fakhar Zaman. Yeah, nicely played. Just leans on it. And it's a punch through the offside. Away it goes for four. Oh, yes. It's wide and full and... That's nicely played. You can play shots like that. Off that back of a length. And away it goes for four. 50 up for Pakistan. Making a good fist of this. Always a surface that if you are able to play good back foot shots, you get good value. Oh, not sure that carried. Perhaps just a little short. Try to smash that one. Sticking with that back of the length is Kahisa Rabada. Yeah, it looked like it just, just. A bit of grass before his hands of Rusty van Edison. Shot. Too wide and, and too short, and Baba Razam's not going to miss out on that. Four runs. More. Four more. Just throwing the hands because of the width. One leg came up then, and there was the overcorrection from Andile Petrugaya. Two straight that time off the two wide ones, and it's three fours in a row. Straight up, straight up in the air, skipper under it. Oh, bubbles, bubbles a couple of times, and it. Go on, there's another. Nokia with two in the over. Well, I mentioned this is going to be a... Bounces over. Backward point. Oh, that one looks like it's made contact with the helmet. Might have to have a concussion test, but the bonus for Pakistan is it's gone away to the boundaries. In fact, he's given it as run, so it was off the glove. It's the stamp. Brilliant from Nokia. Absolutely brilliant. He's ruffled the feathers and then followed it up with another delivery going across the left-handed as it he doesn't have to watch that one. It's up and over. It's plenty of width. No response from Pakazaman. Not saying, listen, why don't you go and watch that one? <laughs> it's gone away to the boundary, but it's nicely played. It's nicely swept. With the field setting restrictions and only allowed. The four men outside the inner ring. Often it's that man behind. 
That's gone past flying keeper for four. Four leg buys. And Giri losing his direction. Oh, God, it was a tremendous appeal in theatrical stuff from Shamsi. Leg, leg stump? All three stumps. <laughs> yeah, a good part of middle and leg stump. So, Shadav, after fighting it out and wanting to establish a platform again for Pakistan, has been dismissed. Oh, big shot that is. Huge six over square leg. Got good hold of it. Climbed into it. Six over square leg. Gets a 50 as well. Another pull shot. Pull shot in front of mid wicket for four. This is good batting. Certainly he's woken up. That's nasty play. Very good shot. It was dragged down. It was one man on the boundary. That's something maybe we're going to have to speak to him about, but that one short wide dragged out and the man who's on 56, easy pick left. And that's a big hit. That's a massive hit. Way up to the grandstands, just manages to stay inside. The that was smeared over the leg side. From our angle up here in the comments box, up in the air, this could be an opportunity. No, it lands perfectly. Our six, the two men behind square on the leg side, and that's why there's a raw smile. Oh, that's class. Markham likes to bowl a flatter delivery, particularly when he feels like he's going to be under pressure. But just to wait for it to come to him. He does. Round the wicket. Up and over. It's gone all the way. It's a difficult time. Up into the air, this could be taken. It's an adjustment. And eventually the catch is taken. I think it's Aiden Markham who's on the fence. It is indeed. Sliced away, and that's four runs off the first ball through the gap as well. And it's gone underneath the stand. There's an edge on that. Yes, up goes the finger. So another wicket has gone down. Fahim is the. He's got that away nicely on the bounce, and that's going to go for four. Good work from Fakhar Zaman. That's a really good knock. He played very, very well. It's a knock that he certainly deserved. He's been a little bit on the lean side of late, and to get three figures here against a top quality attack at the Wanderers is. Thick edge over the top of the keeper, and that's four runs. Slower delivery, and it's gone over the top for six runs. It's a good connection. That is the best possible result. Oh, the sound off the bat with that shot. That has gone a long way high, and it's gone a long way deep as well. Full toss, driven strongly on the onside for a boundary. Runs are coming now. Well, he does that, and he does it quite comfortably. He's hit that a long way. That is a very good shot indeed. No wonder he was waiting. The last ball. Has he got enough on it? I think he has. Yep, six more. So he's done the business of that over. 12 off the over, two blows. That's all it took. 42 gone, 249 for seven now. Nicely played. Got plenty of bat on that, and he's picked up four runs. Full toss. Eased way on the onside for a boundary. Second ball of the over. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 wow. Here we go. It'll be very interesting to see how he manages this, Fakhar Zaman. Six more, six more. Yeah, but it's good contact that time. Yeah, tough this, tough this for 
Shamsi. But this is a gem of an innings for Fakhar Zaman. Brings up 150 of just 128 balls. More. Oh, yes. Fakhar Zaman. Ground not big enough for him. Three in a row. Straight up in the air. And Rabada takes. Shot. One bounce and four. Has it got him? No, he hasn't. Dropped it. And 76 and is past Herschel Gibbs. 175 as the highest score in ODIs here. It's got away. Third man's up in the circle. He's looking onside, gets a leading edge, and they'll do. Struck, struck so well. There are four on that fence. They could do nothing about it. Fakhar Zaman takes Pakistan. Fakhar Zaman on strike. Bang, four. Oh, he's clubbed it. He's clubbed it. They have to go for a second. Have to go. Oh, he's out. Oh, dear. He thought it was being thrown to the other end. Stop running. Can't believe it. What a way for this innings to end. He's played so, so well. Oh, man. 192 of 154. That is one of the amazing innings applauded by his teammates. As Fakhar Zaman's taking the second run, he's pointing the other end, saying, you get it, you get it, as if it's going that end. <laughs> but the ball's coming towards him, and he's well aware it's coming too. And then look at him laugh as well and say, oh, I done him, I got him. Absolutely brilliant from <laughs> Quentin de Kock. Shot. Beautifully done. Oh, what a shot. First up. Four. So oh, it's inside. One bounce and four. And some shots have been played. Goodness me. That's four. Hasnain walked in. Is hit three fours. And we're wondering, why isn't he in to help Fakhazam?